Hello creators, welcome and welcome back to the channel. First of all, I wish you a happy new year. It's 2024. Oh my God, the year and the time is running away. As this is the first video of 2024, I thought why not I start with giving you something, something which I have, I share with you guys. And in this video, I'm sharing 116 free transition pack for you. I created this 116 transition pack because few weeks ago, I made a video on which I gave away 21 free transitions pack. And to be honest, you guys love that video. It got like 25,000 view. My channel is new. It's not even 1,000 subscribers as of January 6, 2024. And that video already got 25,000 views. So I'm very happy and very like honored that you guys love that video. So thank you so much for all this love. And that's why I thought this time I give you a little bit more. Maybe I'll end up getting 100,000 views. Who knows? Not too much of me talking. If you just need the transitions pack, the link is in the descriptions. Go ahead and download it. By just seeing the pack, you know how to use it. But if you're someone new who doesn't know how to use the entire pack in Premiere Pro so just follow along because I'm going to teach you everything from the beginning of downloading the pack all the way how to use it click on the link in the descriptions go ahead on Google Drive and download the pack you will see the link like this click here and you should be good to go once you downloaded the pack you will have a this zip pack you can right click and extract here if you are using Windows and if you are using Mac just double click on it and it will open it for you like this so I'm gonna delete this one because it's the same thing double click and open it and now if you see there are four categories so I have 22 essential transitions pack which are the most important and most useful in cinematic video nowadays and then I have 34 glitch transitions then I have a ink drop transitions and then finally I have 40 shape transitions so let's go ahead and start with the first one 22 essential yeah I have this video here and I want to add a transitions from this video to this video I have to first bring the transitions pack into my Premiere Pro to bring it go to effect onto your computer if you don't see effect here you go to window and make sure the effect is checked you can either select any folder you want it in I want it inside my preset so I'm gonna click on that and then I will right click import presets then go to the folder where you saved your transitions open that folder and select this one 22 essential presets transitions and then at the bottom of your screen you'll see this option as import so now if I go in my presets click on this arrow and scroll down you can see I have this 22 essential sub transitions back and if you click on this tiny icon here this property icon it will show you how to use it so I try to keep it as simple as possible for you guys in case even if you forget in the future how to use it you can just click on that property icon and there is a description I wrote it for you guys you just read it and you'll know how to use it to apply these transitions I like to use adjustment layer but you are welcome to use it directly on the clip the reason why I use adjustment layer in case if I don't like the transition I can just delete the adjustment layer so I'm gonna just go here at the bottom of my screen I'm gonna click on this new item icon and I'm create adjustment layer okay bring it in the top come back to the effect again and let's say I'm, I want to apply this one the stretch to right 10 frames and if I click on this icon again as I said double click it will show me 10 frames on adjustment layers so that means I have to create five frames on each side be in the middle then I will press shift and hold and click left so that's five frame I'll make a cut now this time five frames on the right side so shift again and left that's five frame make the card i will keep this one for the later transitions now all i have to do is just drag and drop these transitions in the adjustment layer and now if i play it will look like this pretty cool huh it's very easy read the descriptions drag and drop now let's try one more bring this uh, another adjustment layer into the middle of these two clips so it's from here to this thing let's say i'm gonna apply this clockwise movement this moment so i'm gonna double click on here to read it says total you need at least 20 frames 10 frames left 10 frames right on adjustment layer or cut the clip into 10 frames on each side as i said you can either use adjustment layer or you can use directly the clip for this transition you need 20 frames total so i have to press two times on each side so shift 5 10 i'm gonna make a cut all the way till here shift 5 10 make a cut and i'll keep this one for the next one so that i don't have to create again and again now here i will apply this clockwise let's see how it goes now if you notice here my clips got zoomed in both of my clips to fix this thing take an adjustment layer on top and bring this empty adjustment layer at the bottom make sure they are in the same size as the transitions make a cut 
10 frame on each side again like that whichever clip got zoomed in you're going to apply a base layer in the same pack i have base layer you're gonna bring this base layer into this one so now this one is zoomed out my second video is also zoomed in so i'm gonna do the same thing so let's go ahead and play now much better you see how smooth it is let's play it again cool so this is how you can use the essential pack now let's go ahead and learn how to use the second one which is a glitch transitions there are 34 glitch transitions you double click and open and you will see the similar kind of a PSET file to use the glitch transitions you do the same thing you're gonna go to effect presets right click import find the pack where you have it so glitch transition double click and glitch transitions pack click open and it will bring it to your premiere pro now in premiere pro you can see this 34 glitch transitions the first two category the short and adjustment layer are the same as i already explained you like the way you use in 22 essential pack so i will show you the next two which is in and the nested file all right so click on that in now you have a different glitch point again if you click on this icon it will show you how to use it glitch five frames fit to standard so what basically I have to do is cut the clip into five so i'm what i'm gonna do is shift and five so here i am let's zoom in a little bit and make a cut here then shift and five this side now i have this two thing here one and two point what i have to do is apply in here out here now if you notice i applied in on the second video out on the first video because when your playhead is going your playhead is out going out of one clip and into another clip that's why your first clip is actually your out clip your second clip is actually your in clip again you can play around you can apply vice versa it will still give you a good glitch transitions now let's watch it and see how it looks pretty good huh so that's how you can apply in and out glitch effect now let's try the nested one the nested one is kind of same thing so again i will bring this playhead into the middle of my clip and go to the nested file and let's say i'm gonna apply this first one when it doesn't have an explanation that means you can cut each side five frames or ten frames whichever you like if you like a longer one you're gonna cut ten frames if you want a short transitions you're gonna cut only five frames all right so i have here shift left make a cut shift right make a cut so now i have a 10 frames of this clip i have to select both of them right click and nest so now this is the nested file you're just gonna come here drag and drop onto the nest file and let's render it now let's play and see pretty good huh so that's how you can apply the glitch effect all four categories the next category of transitions we have is ink transitions like an ink drop transitions you can also call it water drop transitions in the pack there are 20 of this ink transitions double click and open and see whichever you like let's say i like this one number six so all i have to do is drag and drop number six into your timeline ink transitions here which is doing nothing at this moment but i want this video this island video to the board transitions to do that first i need to bring this island video a little bit higher and put this board video all the on the down below it right below then i will bring this in transition and match with the end of it so however you want it where do you exactly want it to end so match with the end of it and make a cut at the beginning of the transitions so it's gonna play like this video and then it will transitions from here so click on the second part of the cut where the transition is applied go to effect and effect type track matte key so if you see track matte key here you're gonna drag onto the actual video the cut you made not on the ink transitions but the actual video the middle one then you go to effect control in effect control the track matte key you're gonna change this matte to video 3 where you have your ink transitions applied in the matte alpha you're gonna change that to matte luma now let's play and see how it looks so i have this video here and that's how you apply it it's a little confusing but if you just follow what i did here it's very easy as well now the last category is 40 transitions pack of shape category shape is like a more good file it's a little bit different than the other three categories how we use it but it's very trending at this moment in social media world everyone is using it so i just thought maybe i include this pack as well so you double click and open you can see this 40 more good file here you actually have so i want to add a transitions from here 
to this one. In order to add that Morga transitions, first you have to go to window and go to essential graphic. In essential graphic, make sure you're on the browse and click on this plus icon here. Again, go and find where you have it. I have it here, 4D Morga transitions. Click on the folder, do not open. This time you don't have to open, you want the entire folder to be with you. In Premiere Pro, you don't wanna input one by one. Do not open and just do choose. And now you have this local transitions pack. Check this 4D and you'll see all this 4D transitions pack. And if you want to apply any of them, all you have to do is just drag and drop. So let's say I'm gonna apply this one, just drag and drop. There is one thing though, when you apply these transitions, make sure when the transition cover the entire screen, that part is in the middle. So to bring that part into the middle, bring your playhead here and press M on your command so that you have a marker and then bring this marker into the middle right here. So this is how this is gonna look like. Let me render it. Likewise, you can apply any other. There are 40 of them. I just explained you the one and I've explained you all four categories in the pack. If you have any questions, anything you did not understand, write in the comment section and I will write the explanation or I'll do my best to explain you again. All these transitions are very amazing. They are very useful, but they are useless if you don't use them with sound effect, which is right here. Go ahead, click on this video and get your 101 free sound effect. I'll see you there.